Welcome. In front of me is an LG V50, and today I will show you how to go through the setup process of the device. And obviously, when you boot it up for the first time, you will be presented with the screen that you can see right over here. And all you really need to do at the beginning is select your language. Now, for me, it's already selected the one that I, I want to use. But if for you it might not be the case, then simply tap on the arrow right here and select your desired language. From there, once you have chosen it, press on the arrow and you should see the next page, which is um, new space screen or new second screen. Uh, not really sure what is this. Oh, it's just a notch. Okay, uh, I wasn't actually sure what they're uh, going about with it, but this is just a simple notch. Um, not really sure why it's called the second screen, but whatever. So as you can see, you do have by default a notch and you can choose to mask it in a way. It doesn't really hide it, it just masks it in a fully dark environment. Uh, the black area that is right here will still light up so you will be able to see it. Uh, but in general, like under the sun, uh, sunlight and stuff like that in a bright uh, room, it will do a fairly okay job at masking it as you can see. Now, personally, I prefer the notch rather than reduce my screen space. So from there, let's go to the next page where we can insert our SIM card. Now, this step is just kind of redundant and completely uh, can be skipped. And basically, when you insert a SIM card, it will start working without any kind of problem. So you can insert it right now. And it will, if you have, for instance, a pin on it, it will pop up that you need to insert a pin for the SIM card. Uh, if you finish up the setup and drop a SIM card into it, it will do the exact same thing, no matter when you do it. When you place the SIM card into the device, it will always act the same way. So this step is kind of completely pointless. And I'm gonna skip it right now. And on the next page, we can connect to Wi-Fi. Now, by connecting to Wi-Fi, uh, you will have the option to also log in to your Google account and restore your backup or device from a backup. Uh, also, if the device was, for instance, reset it before and someone didn't log out, uh, you will not be able to skip this um, because that will basically make that device be uh, locked. But this is a new device without any kind of lock, so I can just tap on next and skip it. So, skip anyway. Now, there's also a chance, there we go, that uh, we will need to set up a time. And uh, sometimes the time is uh, kind of selected correctly. Uh, and sometimes it's not. The time zone is correct. Um, the date is not by a lot. And the time as well. So from here, you, all you need to do is simply tap on the arrow right here and then select what you want. So I'm gonna go to uh, January 21st. And today it is, uh, let's see what it's today, the 13th. So I'll just select 13. Okay. And then we can also change the time. So right now it's 4 p.m. So let me go 4. And let's stop on OK. And there we go. That's, that's the time being set. Now if you connect it to Wi-Fi, it should be set automatically. Now on the next page, we have Google Services. So we have services like location, scanning, and send the user and diagnostic data. And uh, the first one, the location, um, allows apps, for instance, like Google Maps to access your location. So it gives you an accurate route to, for instance, your destination that you have chosen. Um, then we have scanning, which allows apps uh, to scan uh, Bluetooth devices, uh, Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So just basically aware of what's around it. And then below that, we have send user and diagnostic data which basically means uh, Google uh, wants your data and uh, give us your data. Um, so you can disable all of them if you don't want it. Uh, things like location and stuff like that, you can enable it later on just through a notification panel if you choose to uh, use it. From there, let's tap on accept. And then we have the option to secure our device. So by default, it goes to a fingerprint, uh, but you can also use a some kind of NAC code, which I haven't ever used it, so I'm not sure how that works. But you also have the more typical ones like pin, pattern, or password, or simply no thanks. Uh, so from here, let's select you know, one of these. I'm gonna try the NAC pattern, or NAC code. Uh, no thanks. 
Okay. Is that it? Okay. I'm confused what? Oh, it needs to be three different ones. Six tabs uh, and use these two different. Okay. There we go. So, once you have set it, we can then proceed further to some legal documents. Now, select uh, your region right here. Uh, for me, uh, Poland falls under the uh, EU, obviously. And then we have the legal documents. So at the very top, you have an option to agree to all. But then if you look below, there's only two things that we are actually forced to agree to. So end user license agreement and privacy policy. So simply check both of them and then rest is optional. So you can leave it empty and not agree to it. From there, tap on done. And that finishes up the setup. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.